Hi, my name is Christina Zielinski. I'm a professor of the Technical University of Munich and the German Center of Infection Research. I'm very happy to present you our latest research on the role of ionic signals for human T-cell functions, which will soon be featured in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. In autoimmune diseases, the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissues. Over the last few years, a lot of insights have been generated that suggest a major role for TH17 cells in the pathogenesis of these devastating diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis and psoriasis. We could previously show that specific cytokines can shape the pro-inflammatory function of TH17 cells. But now we could demonstrate that ionic signals, such as salt, can render these pro-inflammatory TH17 cells anti-inflammatory. We dissected the underlying mechanisms and regulatory pathways and hope that in the near future we can exploit these insights for therapeutic strategies in the fight against autoimmune diseases as well as infections. Hi, I'm Julia Matthias and I'm very excited to introduce you to our research regarding the role of table salt, sodium chloride, on the pathogenicity of Th17 cells. Recently, there has been a shift in our understanding of T-cell maturation. Until lately, exclusively immunological factors were thought to affect T-cells and induce T-cell maturation. However, the tissue environment adjacent to a maturing T-cell provides many more stimuli. These factors have been shown to affect immune cells too, and one of them is salt, an important component of our daily diet. We studied human Th17 cells under the impact of different physiological salt concentrations. Recently, it has been found that salt induces de novo Th17 cells from naive T helper cells. Our data are showing that salt also affects mature T cells by strengthening the Th17 cell phenotype, as can be seen in increases of the Th17 cell signature cytokine IL-17 and its master transcription factor gamma T. Surprisingly, we also found an increase in anti-inflammatory and regulatory factors such as TGF-beta and FOXP3. So salt has a context-dependent dichotomous role on Th17 cell pathogenicity, which is guided by the cytokine microenvironment. We then wanted to check this in vivo and we adoptively transferred the salt-rated Th17 cells into a multiple sclerosis mouse model. And indeed, we found reduced disease scores after high salt treatment. However, in the presence of a pro-inflammatory cytokine microenvironment lacking TGF-beta, we found enhanced disease scores in the presence of salt. So, salt seems to be a flexible microenvironmental factor that stabilizes immunotolerance under steady state conditions, but also can promote inflammations in settings of infection or autoimmunity. I want to thank all the co-authors for their contributions and for making this such a fun project.